Hi, I'm Hanna Dormisto Inch, Director of Private Sandbox Partnerships in EMEA for Chrome and Android. Before I'll talk more about Private Sandbox, I'd like to start with three simple but important numbers that represent what this video is really about. 100. That is the percentage of Chrome browsers that have Private Sandbox technologies available globally today, just as we highlighted in our plans last year. 100. That's also today the number of days remaining until we sunset 1% of third-party cookies in Chrome at the beginning of 2024. The first step in the planned phase out of third-party cookies in the second half of next year. And yes, you heard me right. There's less than a year until the planned sunset of third-party cookies in Chrome. And zero, that's the number of days you should wait to prepare for this change. Here's the bottom line. The private sandbox is ready for business, and the next stage of removing third-party cookies is imminent. Today, I'll take you through where we are at with Private Sandbox, how the industry is getting ready, and what you can do to unlock the potential of a more private internet. So first things first, why are we building the Private Sandbox? Simply put, the way digital advertising works today needs to fundamentally change. And I say this as someone who has spent over 25 years working in the advertising industry. Over the past two decades, we as an industry have relied on identifiers that connect what people do online across the sites they visit and the apps that they use. The best known of these is, of course, third-party cookies. But like many legacy technologies, we have reached a clear turning point where the downsides of the identifiers outweigh the benefits. People are increasingly aware of how their data is used online and their expectations for privacy are growing. A 2022 global research study showed that 80% of users are concerned about their online privacy. And 85% of people want brands to invest in more private technologies. So the question is, how do we tackle this challenge and meet people's expectations for online privacy? One approach, which some browsers and platforms have taken, is to simply restrict existing identifiers. And maybe this sounds like the obvious solution, right? Well, no. Publishers and marketers who want to advance privacy are hurt because they lack viable alternatives for their critical business needs. And it leads to more covert forms of user tracking, like fingerprinting. So not only does this approach hurt the ecosystem, it also backfires on privacy. With Private Sandbox, we're taking a different approach. Privacy and performance can and need to coexist. So how does the Private Sandbox achieve this goal? We've developed new platform technologies, or APIs if you will, that address a wide range of important ecosystem use cases that they typically rely on cross-site identifiers like third-party cookies. This includes new technologies for digital advertising that support ads relevance and measurement. As I mentioned, these technologies are now available for 100% of Chrome users. And we're currently rolling out the beta version of these APIs to Android 13 devices as well. Now, in speaking many of you across the industry, we've heard a lot of questions about Private Sandbox. Like, is it only for Google's own ads? Does it ship out of the box solutions? Or isn't it just another form of tracking? So I want to take a moment to share three key facts about what the Private Sandbox is and what it isn't. First, Private Sandbox works the same for everyone. All businesses and ad tech platforms, including Google Ads, have the same access to data and capabilities at the same time. Second, 
It is not a standalone ad tech solution for marketers and publishers. With Private Sandbox, Chrome and Android provide the building blocks that ad tech providers can incorporate into their products alongside other privacy safe signals like contextual or first party data. Just like today, ad tech companies will craft a wide range of innovative solutions using the best of these technologies to meet the needs of their customers. And finally, Private Sandbox is not another type of tracking. It significantly improves privacy compared to third-party cookies and other cross-site identifiers. So let's take a closer look at this. With cookie-less solutions, we broadly see two categories. First, there's new kinds of cross-site identifiers. Similar to third-party cookies, these solutions, whether they're based on signals like IP address or user data like email addresses, enable a user to be re-identified across different websites. And they allow for effectively unlimited collection of cross-site data. Then there are solutions based on privacy-enhancing technologies, or PETs for short. At a recent International Association of Privacy Professionals conference, we were excited to see PETs discussed as a promising solution for the privacy utility trade-off. The private sandbox uses a range of pets, like data aggregation, on-device processing, differential privacy, data noising, and trusted execution environments to protect user information while providing useful functionality for developers. By doing this, private sandbox hides the user's identity and minimizes data collection, so it's significantly more private than cross-site identifiers. And we are already seeing new solutions being built with these technologies. In my last video, I announced some of the companies whose feedback helped improve the private sandbox for both users and the industry. Since then, even more companies have reimagined their solutions with the private sandbox. Today, I want to highlight a few companies who have built new end-to-end -end solutions for their customers. Solutions that help advertisers reach and measure their target audiences, or help publishers monetize their content, all whilst protecting their data. Critio has been a very active contributor to the Private Sandbox since its early beginnings in 2020, and has continuously helped shape and test several APIs, leading to viable findings for the entire ecosystem. They want to ensure their clients' future success by enabling a multifaceted addressability strategy in a cookie-less future, and the private sandbox is a key component of this strategy. Critter is confident that they will provide their clients with the necessary tools to stay profitable and grow. Critter is already supporting live traffic fully relying on the private sandbox. RTB House, another European ad tech company, is enabling remarketing and helping publishers extend their audiences using the private sandbox technologies. Reaching the right audience is critical for advertisers, and even cookies today typically match less than half of their audiences, according to a recent ad exchange survey. With RTB House's solution, which is currently running a live test with millions of impressions, advertisers can be 100% confident that they are reaching their audiences with the right relevant ads in the moments that matter without needing to match cookies or any other identifiers. In the app ecosystem, a German mobile DSP, Remerge, has built the first proof of concept for app remarketing using the private sandbox technologies on Android. Remerge worked together with AppsFlyer, a leading mobile measurement provider, to develop a new solution that allows advertisers to reach users who have already shown an interest in their products or services without having to share sensitive user-level information. We are excited to see two respected mobile advertising companies working together to develop privacy-centric solutions for their customers on Android. It is thanks to the effort of hundreds of companies like these who have contributed to the proposals and discussions, and to the dozens who have leaned into testing, that the Private Sandbox is ready for the industry to adopt now. 
As for our upcoming plans, at the beginning of January, we will take the next step by removing third-party cookies for 1% of Chrome users globally to help companies assess the readiness and effectiveness of their solutions. Then we'll work in close consultation with the UK's Competition and Markets Authority and in conversations with regulators worldwide to remove third-party cookies in the second half of next year. So what should you do now to prepare? If you are a marketer, check with your agency and ad tech providers on adopting more private ad solutions. If you are a publisher, work with your technology partners to adopt privacy-centric approaches to monetization. And for everyone, audit your sites and take action today to prepare for the web without third-party cookies. The Private Sandbox team thinks deeply about our responsibility to protect people's privacy and support businesses online. We believe this requires new approaches to digital advertising. Yes, change can be challenging, especially when we need to part from technologies like third-party cookies that we've relied on for decades. Privacy-enhancing technologies can unlock innovative new solutions, as Critio and others have shown, and help create thriving online businesses who users can trust. Together, let's take the next steps on the journey to a world without third-party cookies.